Riyal was a young woman from India. She had a big dream. She wanted to be a scientist. Riyal loved writing. She wrote many beautiful articles. Her dream was to do a PhD in America. But Ria had a problem. She did not have enough money. In her small town in India, Ria lived with her parents and her younger brother. They were not rich. Her father worked as a farmer. Her mother took care of the house. Ria worked hard in school. She was the best student in her class. Her teachers always said, Ria, you are very smart. You will do great things one day. Ria loved reading books. She read many books about science. She wrote articles about what she learned. Her articles were very good. Her teachers sent her articles to newspapers. People loved reading them. They said, Ria, you write so well. You should be a scientist. Ria decided to apply for a PhD program in America. She knew it would be hard. But she did not give up. She filled out many applications. She wrote many letters. She sent her articles to universities in America. She hoped they would see her hard work. One day, Ria got a letter in the mail. It was from a university in America. Her hand shook as she opened it. The letter said, Congratulations, Ria. You have been accepted to our PhD program. We are happy to offer you a scholarship. Ria was so happy. She ran to her parents. Mom, Dad, I got accepted. I got a scholarship. Her parents were very proud. They hugged her, but then they looked worried. Her father said, Ria, this is great news, but how will we get the money for your plane ticket? And you need money to register for the program. We do not have enough. Ria's smile faded. She knew her father was right. She needed more money. She had saved some money from her job as a tutor. But it was not enough. She needed to find a way. Rhea thought and thought. She did not want to give up her dream. She decided to talk to her teachers. Maybe they could help. She went to her school the next day. Ria found her favorite teacher, Mrs. Sharma. Mrs. Sharma, she said, I have been accepted to a PhD program in America. But I need money for the plane ticket and registration. Can you help me? Mrs. Sharma smiled. Ria, this is wonderful news. I am so proud of you. I will talk to the principal. Maybe the school can help. Mrs. Sharma and Riyal went to the principal's office. The principal was a kind man. He listened to Riyal's story. He said, Ria, you are a bright student. We will help you. I will talk to the school board. We will find a way to raise the money. The principal called a meeting with the school board. They decided to organize a fundraiser for Ria. 
they planned a big event. They invited all the students, teachers, and parents. They even invited people from the town. On the day of the fundraiser, Riel was very nervous. She hoped they would raise enough money. Many people came to the event. There were games, food stalls, and a big stage. Ria gave a speech. She talked about her dream of becoming a scientist. She thanked everyone for their support. People were moved by Ria's speech. They donated money generously. By the end of the day, they had raised enough money for a plane ticket and registration. Riyal was overwhelmed with joy. She thanked everyone from the bottom of her heart. With the money in hand, Ria bought her plane ticket. She paid for her registration. She was ready to go to America. Her parents were sad to see her go, but they were also very proud. They knew she would do great things. The day of her departure arrived. Ria packed her bags. She hugged her parents and her brother. I will make you proud, she said. Her mother had tears in her eyes. We know you will, Ria. Go and achieve your dreams. Ria boarded the plane. It was her first time flying. She was nervous but also very excited. She looked out the window as the plane took off. She was leaving her home, but she was also starting a new journey. When Ria arrived in America, everything was different. The buildings were tall and the streets were busy. She felt a little scared, but she reminded herself of her dream. She took a taxi to the university. The campus was beautiful. She could not believe she was finally there. Ria registered for her classes. She met her professors. They were very kind and supportive. She made new friends from different countries. They all had big dreams like her. They studied together and helped each other. Ria worked very hard in her studies. She wrote many research papers. Her professors were very impressed. They said, Ria, you are a brilliant student. You will be a great scientist. Ria's journey was not easy. She missed her family. She missed her home. But she never gave up. She remembered why she was there. She wanted to make her family proud. She wanted to achieve her dream. After a few years, Ria completed her PhD. She became Dr. Ria. She had achieved her dream. Her family came to her graduation. They were very proud of her. Her father had tears in his eyes. Ria, you did it, he said. You made us so proud. Ria smiled. She knew she had worked very hard. She knew she had faced many challenges. But she also knew she had the support of her family and her teachers. She was grateful for their love and support. Ria started working as a scientist. She continued to write articles. 
Her work was published in many journals. She became a famous scientist. People admired her for her hard work and dedication. Ria's story inspired many young girls in her town. They wanted to be like her. They wanted to achieve their dreams. Ria often visited her school. She talked to the students. She told them, never give up on your dreams. Work hard and believe in yourself. You can achieve anything. Ria's journey from India to America was a long and challenging one. But she never gave up. She faced many obstacles, but she overcame them with hard work and determination. She achieved her dream of becoming a scientist. She made her family proud, and she inspired many others to follow their dreams.